Hello students, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss about CLR1 parser. The contents of this session is, we are going to learn about what is a CLR1 parser and how the parsing process is to be performed. And the objective of the, this session is, how to perform parsing with CLR1 parser and what is the difference between LR0, SLR1 and CLR1. And after completion of this session, you may learn how to perform the parsing if I give a string to the CLR1 parser. Now come to the components of CLR1 parser. The input is loaded to the input buffer and by using the stack data structure and shift and reduce operations and including the parse table, the CLR1 parsing algorithm is going to perform the CLR1 parsing and it is going to generate the output named the parse tree or syntax tree. So, what is the difference between LR0, SLR1 and CLR1? We already discussed the LR0 and SLR1 concepts. So, to construct the LR0 and SLR1, we need LR0 canonical items. But to perform CLR1 parsing, we need LR1 canonical items. So, there is a difference in construction of LR1 items. So, what is a LR1 item? We can say LR1 item equal to LR0 item plus the look aheads. So, along with the LR0 items, we have to place the look aheads. Okay? In LR parsers, in the construction of parse table only, there is a little bit different from various LR parsers. And here, we are not going to place the reduction operations in the entire row like the LR0 parser or we are not going to place the reduction operations in the follow of the left hand side non terminal we are going to place the reduction operation in the place of the look aheads only okay terminology of clr1 parser to construct the clr1 parser or to perform clr1 parsing we have to construct the lr1 canonical item set as we discuss the lr1 canonical item set equal to lr0 items plus look ahead symbols and we have to apply the closer and go to operations to construct the lr1 canonical item set and we are going to construct the parse table with the help of the LR1 canonical item set and the parsing processes depend upon the parse table or LR1 canonical item set. Come to the parsing process of CLR1 parser. So, we have to find the augmented grammar by adding the augmented production to the particular given grammar. And we have to find the LR1 canonical item set then by applying the closer and go to operations. After finding the canonical item set, we have to construct the parse table which consists the action and go to part and we have to place the reduction operations at a final item by in the look ahead symbols only. By using this parse table and the LR1 canonical item set, we are going to perform the LR1 parsing. In the previous sessions, we discussed what is the LR parsing process. The LR parsing process and parsing algorithm are same for all the LR parsers. Okay. So, the parsing process and the parsing algorithm are same for all the LR parsers. Then, what is the difference between CLR and LR0 and SLR1? Of course, uh, not only CLR, LLR also. So, here the difference is to construct the LR0 and SLR1 parsing process we have to use the LR0 canonical items. But to construct the CLR and the LLR, we need LR1 canonical items. Then, now the question is, what is the difference between LR0 items and LR1 canonical items? We can say that LR1 item equal to 
L R zero item plus the look ahead. So what is the purpose of this look ahead? We are going to perform the reduction operation, or we are going to place the reduction operation in the parsing table. Depend upon this look ahead only. But in L R zero there are now look ahead. So what is an L R one item? As we discuss, the L R one item is the combination of L R zero item plus look ahead. So for every production in the grammar, we have to attach the look ahead. For example, A tends to alpha, and I have to comma some look ahead symbol. I have to attach. To find this look ahead, we have to follow the three rules. For first rule is. For the given grammar, we are adding the augmented production like this, where capital A is the start symbol of the grammar. So, for every augmented production, by default, the look ahead is dollar. This is the first rule. Come to the second rule. If a production is like A tends to some dot alpha beta. Some look ahead is there. L one. So if I am going to apply the closure operation, so I have to write the productions of alpha as alpha dot gamma. Here alpha is the non-terminal, so I have to apply the closure operation, and I have to write alpha tends to dot gamma. And now the question is, what I have to write in the place of look ahead? So remember that I applied the closure operation. Because of this non-terminal, so I have to find what is the first of first of beta, and we have to place such thing as a look ahead for this production. Okay, come to the third rule. If a tends to dot alpha and associated with some look ahead, yell a one. So because of this dot. And if alpha is a non-terminal, so I have to write all the alpha production as alpha tends to dot gamma. Now the question is, what I have to include or what I have to write as a look ahead for this production? In production in rule number two, after alpha some beta is there, so I have to find first of beta and I get as a look ahead for this production. But here after alpha nothing is there. So what I have to do? Simply, I have to copy these look ahead for this particular production also. That means the same look ahead are copied to this particular production. Okay. So for this given grammar, I am attaching one augmented production named as S dash tends to dot S, and according to the rule number one, I am attaching the dollar as the look ahead for this. Augmented production. Then, because of this dot, I have to apply the closure operation. So I have to write all the yes productions. Okay. So yes tends to dot a a comma dollar y because I wrote this production depend upon this yes. Okay. According to rule number three, after yes nothing is there, so I have to copy the same look ahead to this production also. Okay. Then yes tends to dot a. Because of this dot symbol, I have to write all the a productions in the given grammar. A. I wrote these two productions because of this capital A. So I have to find what is first of capital A. Then I have to attach here. The first of capital A is a comma b from the given grammar. So this is my I not state, and I have to apply the first two operation. So On capital S, it is S dash tends to S dot, and the look ahead never changes. So I have to write dollar. It seems to be a final item, but actually it is not a final item because this production is added by us only. Okay, so this is the augmented production. I name this state as I one. Come to the next production. On capital A, I have to write S tends to A dot A. That means I move this dot symbol once. Symbol at a time from left to right. 
So A dot A, and here the locate is dollar. The same locate is I have to copy here. Okay. So now after this dot, capital A is there. So because of this capital A, I have to apply the closure operation, and I have to include all the A productions. Okay. I wrote these two productions because of this capital A, but after this capital A, no symbol is there. So simply I have to copy the same locate to this production also. Okay. Now come to the next production on small a. I have to write a tends to a dot a comma a or b. Okay. The same locates are copied here. Then because of this dot capital A. I have to write all the A productions, and after A nothing is there, so I have to copy the same locate symbols. Okay, then on B I have to write A tends to B dot comma A by A by B. That means the same locates are copied here also. Okay, but you may see this is a I one. Now come to I one. There is nothing to perform the go to operation from I one state, so come to I two state. So after this dot capital A is there. So on capital A, yes tends to A A dot comma dollar, and I name this state as I five. Okay. Then come to small A. A tends to A dot capital A comma dollar. Here the dollar look at here the dollar of the look at. I am not going to change the look at because while applying the go to operation, we cannot change the look at. Okay. After that, because of this dot A, I have to write all the capital A productions. Okay, A tends to dot A, A tends to dot B. I wrote these productions because of this capital A. After that capital A, nothing is there. Simply, I have to copy the same look ahead to these productions also. Okay. Then, on small B, A tends to B dot comma. Here the look ahead is dollar. Here the look ahead is dollar. So I have to give the name as I seven. So you may ask it out. So what is the difference between I four and I seven? Both are consist the same production. Yes, both are consist the same production. Are the same final term as A tends to B dot. Here also the production is A tends to B dot. But the only difference is here the look ahead is A or B. Here the look ahead is dollar. That means. I4 and I7 consist the same final item, but with different locates. Okay. Next, from I3 on capital A, A tends to A A dot comma A by B. Okay. So I name it as I8. Then on small A, if I write anything like A tends to A tends to A dot A comma A by B. And because of this capital A, I have to include all the capital A productions as A tends to dot A A and A tends to dot B. E. So now what are the locates? I wrote these two productions because of this capital A. After this capital A, nothing is there, so I have to copy the same symbols or same locate symbols here. So you may observe this I three state is seems to be same for this. So no need to write as a new state. Simply you can keep as a self rule. Okay. Next, come to the next one. A tends to dot B. So on B, if I process, I may get A tends to B dot comma A by B. But you may observe I four is seems to be the same. So no need to write another new state. Simply you can write B to I four. Okay, now come to the I five state. This is a final item, so I cannot apply any go to operation. Okay, from I six state on dot A, I move to A tends to A A dot comma dollar, and on A the same set of productions are going to be generated. So no need to write them as a new state. Simply you can write as a self rule. On B it is going to generate A tends to B dot And dollar. It tends to be dot and dollar. So here also the same procedure. So no need to write as a new state. Simply you can uh, give B to I seven. 
and a tends to beta it is a delta a tends to beta it is a a1b so the productions are same but with different locates so this is the lr1 canonical items okay. after construction of the lr1 canonical items we are going to construct the parse table okay in the parse table there are two parts are there. the first one is the action part second one is the go part in the action part we have to include all the terminal symbols what are given in the grammar including the dot in the go to we have to place all the non terminal symbols so and in the first column i have to mention all the states what we constructed in the yellow canonical items so what is i not i not on small e go to the first i not state and check what is i not on small e i not on small e is i three that means on a terminal symbol if there is a go to operation then i have to mention it is a shift operation so i not on small e is i three so i have to write as this three okay then what is i not on b i not on b is i four so i have to write as Then I not on capital S is I one, so I have to write here as one. I not on capital A is I two, so I have to write as two. Okay. Now come to I one state. So it seems to be final item, but actually this is not a final item. This is the augmented production. So I have to write I one dollar is accept. Next, come to the I two state. There are three go to operations are there. Name is capital A, small A, and small B. So on capital A, I will do I five. So I two on capital A is I two on capital A is five. Then I two on small A is I six. So I two on small A is I six. So I have to write yes six because. If a go to operation is performed depend upon a terminal, so you have to write as shift operation. If you are going to perform the go to operation depend upon a capital letter, that means it's a non terminal, so you have to fill in the go to part. So now what is I two on small b is I seven, so I have to write as yes seven. Okay. Now on the I three state, there are three go to operations are there, so I three and capital A is I eight, so I three and capital A is I eight. Okay, what is I three and small a? It is a self loop, so I three and small a is self loop, so yes three. Then what is I three and b? I three and b is I four, so I have to write here yes four. So come to this I four. A tends to B dot. That means it is a final item. So we have to place the reduction operation in the parse table. So what we have to do? A tends to B dot. Check what is the production number in the graph. Here total three productions are there, but it seems to be four. Why? Because we added the augmented production. So in the given grammar, let us number the given grammar as one, two, and three. So you can find A tends to B dot in the odd production. So I have to write R three in the place of I four in the look ahead symbols. So the look ahead symbols in I four are A comma B. So in the place of A comma B, I have to perform the reduction operation R three and R three. So we are going to write the reduction operations in the place of look ahead. Now come to I five state. So this is also a consistent final item. So what is a final item? In a production, if the dot symbol reaches to the extreme right, we can say that it is a final item. So yes, tends to a a dot. This is a final item. Again, because of this final item, we have to perform the reduction operations. Now check what is the production number in the given graph. Yes tends to a dot. In the given grammar, yes tends to a dot is the first production. So we have to write R one in the place of the look ahead. 
here the bucket is dollar so in the place of hyphen dollar i have to write r that means reduction operation and what is the production number production number is 1 so it is r from i6 there are three productions are there uh, on capital a a tends to a dot of course on capital a it is moving to 9 i9 okay on small a it is a self group so what i have to write i6 on small a i have to write as s6 then what is i6 on small b it went to i7 so i have to write as s7 then come to i7 this is a final item okay so again i have to perform the reduction operation here a tends to b dot in the production number 3 so i have to write r3 in the place of dollar next come to i8 state a tends to a dot comma a by b so here this is a find item so you can find what it is a tends to a dot production so it is the second production in the given grammar so we have to perform the reduction operation or we have to place the reduce operations in the place of a by b which are the locates so r 2 and r 2 then come to the final one i nine so this is also a final item and a tends to a dot production this is the second production in the given grammar so need to perform the reduce operations i have to place the reduce operations here but in the place of dollar so what i have to write i have to write r2 so this is the cl r2 okay from this canonical item set we consider the cl r2 now we have to perform the cl parsing the l r parsing processor all are equal for all the l r processes okay